It's what you do. Hello, hello, hello. Today we are doing something that I found on Amazon. I was browsing on Amazon, as we do, and I ran into these canvases. They're blank pennants that have wooden dowels in them, and they're made out of this canvas material. And I thought this would be perfect to paint on, for a couple of reasons. One, I like to make videos about painting on stuff, but also because I'm trying to decorate my new art room, and I feel like hanging these on the walls would be be fun. Without further ado, let's get started painting our first pennant. I have mixed together this range of colors, which are very shiny. It's ranging from a blue-green color up to a purple color. And now it's time to choose a paintbrush. It looks like I have a lot of these, but honestly, most of them are pretty bad quality. <laughs> I've chosen the best I could possibly choose. First color is this beautiful blue color. It's kind of a blue-green, although it doesn't really look like it. This color's greenness will become more apparent when we compare it to the other blues, I promise. Once I finished creating my first kind of swervy line, I dipped into my purple color. The purple is actually going to go above this blue-green color. I'm filling in the space above this blue swervy line, and now I will become vindicated because look at the paint palette, this paint palette. I'm dipping into a true baby blue color, and the color below that, i.e. the color I started with, was actually very green. It didn't look like it when you didn't have anything to compare it to, but now that we do, we can really see that, yes, I'm not crazy. I did start with a blue-green color. Beautiful, okay. look at them. I have a small rant. There are very few things in life that absolutely astound me like this topic does. Colors look drastically different depending on the other colors that are around it. And yes, maybe this is a very basic concept and maybe no one else actually cares. <sighs> but I refuse to be anything less than absolutely astounded every time I see a color and then it changes the way it looks based on putting it next to a new color. It's like, wow, look at this blue color. It looks kind of blue. And then I put it next to a purple and I'm like, oh my gosh, is this periwinkle? It makes me literally lose my mind. So anyway. As you can see, I'm creating a curvy, swirly kind of gradient. No, this is not intended to be paint drips. I'm actually creating a water background that is very similar to the background of my mermaid coloring page from my most recent Draw Your Journal episode. I think it was Draw Your Journal episode 15. I I don't even know, I'd have to look. We've done so many at this point. Once I got the basic gradient colors down, I took out my white with a very thin paintbrush and I started painting the water thing. Use your words. What, 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 what would you call it? Like water, the ocean, the little foamy stuff? Yes, foamy stuff. No. Water highlights? Is that what we're gonna call it? The water highlights? I think that's probably the best artistic terminology. But I don't care, I'm committed to using the term foamy things. So anyway, I, I'm painting my foamy things. I'm mostly creating solid lines between the colors, but then I'm also adding some breaks in there with a little bit of dots and commas and periods. And in between the colors, I'm also adding some extra foamy movement lines to make it really look like the water is moving. Because I really want this to go on my wall and I'll see it a lot. I didn't want this to be too specific. I wanted it to be more of a generalized creative vision that I could look at and feel a little inspired by and say, okay, this is in my artistic style. I like the colors. I like the way it is in general and it's not too specific. Once I had finished adding my signature, I took out this high gloss acrylic finisher. This is by Angelus, which is extremely expensive. And I am going to buy a different gloss finisher because I feel like it wasn't particularly shiny in the way that I like it to be shiny. Really, I just want a very shiny varnish, but it seems to be hard to find. I'm gonna try Liquitex, I think. I don't know if anyone has had any good experiences with that. Let's move on to the next pennant. In my first pennant, my gradient ranged from a blue-green color all the way to a purple. And in this pennant, I'm ranging from this purple-blue color all the way to a pink color. For this design, I wanted the design to still be a water-based, liquidy kind of thing. 
under the sea, water, I don't know, ocean, but I also wanted it to be more like a star in the center. It kind of looks like a flower, but really what it's supposed to be is a puddle of some sort of colorful liquid. I guess it can't be water because it's pink. Unless we dyed the water pink, the, the water could be pink, who knows? Maybe it's, it's just a colorful- Wait a minute, isn't every liquid just a liquid that has some water in it? Like every kind of mixture always has a little bit of water? Am I wrong? I feel like it's unlikely that I'm wrong about this. It's water, okay? Case closed. Mystery solved, guys. As you can see, I'm creating my gradient from blue to pink, and I feel like my pinks are a little too close together in color. They start to blend and you can't really see what's what. I think if I did it again, I would probably add more of a coral pink color and start to go into an orange. I think that may have changed things for us a little bit. I also just feel like the blue is way too dark in comparison to the light pink and you're like, whoa. What is happening? I have some small qualms. But you know what, I'm trying my best here. When I look at it from a distance, it kind of reminds me of Barbie and that's kind of fun. I enjoy that. I like the pink and the purple, maybe a little bit of Polly Pocket as well. It's not all bad. Oh, new thought. You know what? I actually just wish I had added a hot pink color. I feel like hot pink next to that bluish purple color would have really made the whole thing pop. Right now, this is starting to look like one of those geo rocks. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about, like those rocks that have like the different layers and they're kind of shiny. Am I convincing myself that I like this one? Maybe, maybe. This looks bad right now, and I promise you it's gonna get better because we're starting with the white highlights. The white foamy stuff on this design was very important because you can't really see the distinction between each color, the pinks kind of blend together. And normally blending colors is great, but that was not my intention for this design. So I really need something to separate the colors. Where does this color start? Where does it end? Spooky stuff. As I painted this, this started to remind me of Ditto from Pokemon, and I kind of wish I just added a little face for the center, but I didn't want to ruin the whole thing. I realize I've compared this piece to like 10 different things at this point. I think that's because this is just an amorphous ball of nothingness that I've created here, and it can really be interpreted as many things. Just squint at it and you're like, ah oh, yes, of course, that's a star, obviously. You know, I had a math teacher one time say, I don't like to say the word obvious because what's obvious to me might not be obvious to you. And I think that was probably the biggest thing that has ever stuck with me in a college class. No one should ever use the word obvious ever again. What? I think this actually fits better in a math context because when you're learning very high level math, no one knows what anyone is saying. But I think this does apply to this situation and I realized I never made it really actually clear. When I say the word obvious, and I do say the word obvious or obviously in pretty much every single video, when I do that 99.99999% of the time, I am being very sarcastic. Like, I think it's pretty obvious <laughs> that I'm saying it sarcastically, but I did want to clarify that because I do feel like people tend to feel like they know what they're talking about, but then it, it makes it weird when some people actually don't know what they're talking about. Like, it's fine if you don't know what people are talking about. I don't know what people are saying 80% of the time. That was a gross exaggeration. I know what everyone is saying at all times, no matter what. I have just fallen so far away from anything I was saying before, I don't know how to get back on track. <laughs> I'm dipping into some more white with my dotting tool this time, and I'm signing my signature, it's just the B, taking out this high gloss finisher, which is not glossy at all and no one should call a high gloss finisher, it's a lie. I think I'm getting angry because I'm painting quite aggressively here. Everyone take a deep breath and calm down. And here we have the final result of both of the pennants that I painted for this video. For all that I complained about the pink one, I actually really like it, especially in conjunction with the blue and purple water one. I feel like next to each other, they both look really cool, and I'm excited to be able to hang them on my wall in my new art room. 
My new art room is not done yet, but it's getting there. If you wanna see more of my painting videos, I have a playlist linked in one of these two boxes. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye.